up, welcome back to the vlog. It's Saturday afternoon in New York City. Just got back from a little Catskills cabin getaway with Ryan. It was so nice. It was his Christmas gift to me. We just went for one night. Currently on my couch eating some peanut butter pretzels. Life is good. Also just started watching Burlesque. Such a good movie. I forgot how good this movie was because I'm going to a burlesque show tonight. Burning this candle just came out from Replica. It's the From the Garden scent. It's got like tomato citrus scent. It actually smells really good. While I'm watching the movie, I'm gonna unpack. <laughs> this is from one night, but you know what? I needed layers. And then I brought back some of the groceries. We got like fresh sourdough bread. It was so good. I'm like, that's coming back with me. So I think I've perfected my at-home juice generation like OPP smoothie, where it just literally tastes like a yummy chocolate milkshake with some protein in it. So I got more of this no cow protein powder. It's chocolate protein powder, so good. It's uh, vegan. And then I put a, one spoon of almond butter, almond milk, a banana, ice, mix it together. It's so good. <laughs> Smoothie is complete. Hopefully this one's good. It was good when I would make it in Tampa, so. You gotta pour it in another glass. I just think it tastes better that way. The ice really makes it more milkshakey. <gasps> A straw, of course. It's so good. We have unpacked. Now it is time to take an everything shower. That sounds nice right about now. Just showered and I put this tan Lux, the gradual all over my body. I've been liking, it's been keeping up a nice tan and it doesn't like color anything. So that by the time tonight, hopefully I'll have a little bit more tan and it's like moisturizing too. And then um, I put some of the face on my face. So later when I do my makeup, I'll have a nice glow. And then throughout the night, you'll just be getting a nice glow under your makeup. Brooke taught me that tip. Showered, hair is done. Well, I have like the front pieces and rollers. Drinking my element. <coughs> Gotta get those electrolytes in. I think this is what I'm wearing tonight. Did I even tell you guys what I'm doing? <laughs> I'll explain in a second. Um, but this is a, it's not like sold together, but they're both from Abercrombie. It's this really cute top. I feel like it's one of those tops you could wear, you know, a few different ways, maybe. But it seems to be flowing this way. So actually I'm not so sure. But I haven't worn it. And then I also have this little satin skirt skirt situation from Abercrombie as well and they go so well together because they're the same material and of course some black sheer tights because it's so cute it's like really windy out but I need to take the tag off these I got this jacket from Boohoo because I was wanting a black faux fur jacket for going out and I think this is so perfect with probably my tried and true tall boots or I could go with my Brad Stahl shoes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try them on. Tonight, I'm going to dinner and a burlesque show, which I'm so excited about. Wait, why am I kind of feeling these? It's a great group of people too. It's just kind of, it kind of came together. A few people reached out to me like, what are you doing this weekend? And I was like, well, let's just all make a group chat here. So I'm going to Dirty French in Lower East Side with Caitlin, Delaney, our friend Cade, and Kellyanne. So fun time. Kellyanne's like meeting us for the show. She, she like might stop by Dirty French, but we're going to Dirty French in Lower East Side at the Lola Hotel. It's so swanky. We wanted like a sexy dinner and then the show. So it'll be fun. Okay, let's see what the boots. Mm. I wish the toes were pointed. I'm like so used to wearing pointed toe things that this is kind of, but it's so, it is cute. I love the platform. I don't know if it goes with this outfit though. We'll try my tried and true um, Vince Camuto boots. They're just so comfortable and I can dance in them. I can walk in them and who knows where the night will take us. I think it was Eli Rallo posted about like a three drink dinner and how amazing three drink dinners are. Like maybe you don't have plans to go out after but a three drink dinner is so great. You're obviously ordering food and you're there for a while and you're tipping your waiter and everything but you're getting three drinks, no more, no less. And you get like a little buzzed, but it's still fun. And you're there for a long time with your friends. So those are always fun. I'm kind of envisioning that for tonight. Well, then we have the show, it's dinner or show. I feel like I'm gonna like these better. Hmm, I think 
so. I think the boots, it's such a typical me outfit, but it's comfy. I think it's cute. Like maybe she's wearing a dress or I could just wear black heels. Hold please. Okay, so cute, but it's giving formal and tonight's not formal. Just kidding, we're wearing this. It's a version of an outfit I was gonna wear on New Year's Eve, but kind of switched it up a little bit. This is a Frankie Shaw blazer. I took the top off that I had on, kept the skirt on just for like protection. Below the belt, belt with a silver buckle, kept the boots and the tights. This is just more me. I feel like a bad ass and that's all. So we're gonna do this. I was excited to wear this, but you know what? It's not the time. Guys, Caitlin just FaceTimed me. We are wearing the same thing. It looks so good. Slay. Yours is like less material, so I do think you need a jacket. Do you have a black, like just long coat? No, that's what I was gonna do. That dress yeah. would work with a long coat. Headed out. I am so hungry. I left myself some water and my birth control. You never know how the night's gonna go. Taking Grey Goose shots with an orange slice. We'll see how it goes. Cade. Okay. I feel like it could be thicker, this slice, but. Oh, do you do it first? Um I don't think the orange was a good idea. That was a healthy pour of grapes. That was a good pour. I was, was drinking it like water. <laughs> Burlesque. Burlesque tonight. I've been having a couch morning. Last night was so fun though. We went to the show and then we met up with Ryan and some of his friends at the flower shop in Lower East Side. I haven't like gone out in Lower East Side in a while cause I don't live over there anymore. And it was really fun. And then we ended the night at Zazzy's for pizza. I don't feel like 100%, but I feel good enough. So um, I'm signed up for a Pilates class in 30 minutes. <laughs> it's a 12.30 class, I can do it. Like I was supposed to go to 10 a.m. this morning with Kelly. And we both texted each other like, nah. So we're doing 12.30. <laughs> and my friend Seb's joining me and I'm excited. My stomach feels like, like I had breakfast, but my stomach feels still a little weird. But I like Pilates because it's not easy, but it's oddly relaxing, especially in New York Pilates. And I just feel like if I don't go, I am going to rot, which is fine. It's good to rot, but it seems like, it, like it's cold outside, but it's sunny which is always exciting in the city. So it'll like get me up, maybe I'll get a smoothie, maybe I'll come home and make a smoothie, walk around a little, just kind of get out of the house. So I need to get up. My stomach does feel really weird. Maybe I'll have another piece of bread. I feel like bread helps. Huge self tan fail. This, it, I shouldn't have like done it before going out. That was so dumb. <laughs> But like this part looks good. What was I thinking? I really need to admit it that I already feel better now that I'm outside. I'm so glad I went to that class. It was definitely a little bit more challenging than normal for me because I was just a little run down. But 
I feel so much better now. And I just talked to my mom and while I was talking to her, I was like cleaning stuff and we're gonna do laundry today cause it's Sunday, but I don't need to do like a huge Sunday reset cause I did a huge one last week, which you should go watch that video. I like how it turned out. It did like all voiceover, but the headache is coming in now. So I literally love this thing. I only leave it on for like a minute or so. Headache relief cap just relieves all tension. I feel like a yoga teacher, breathe in. Can I ask you a question? I have a question for you guys. I've been doing lots of reflection in just all aspects of my life. I think a lot of people do that in the new year. I literally have in my journal, like my favorite content I like to make, what makes me the happiest, whatever. And obviously one of my favorite things to do is vlog. And I know how much you guys love the week in my life vlogs. And I just wanted to ask, because I just kind of want to get a pulse check and just make sure I'm going with the vibes here. Comment down below why you watch my videos. Not sappy, like, you know, whatever. More so, like, do you like how there's slow morning montages or do those get repetitive? Do you, like, I'm, I'm looking for some feedback. I personally have been loving doing at-home vlogs and I know I live in New York City and I, you know, I'm when I'm on the go, I feel like I do a pretty good job of vlogging while I'm out too. But do you guys want more adventure or do you like, are you comfortable with the at-home vlogs? Does it kind of just, is it nice to have on your TV while you're doing stuff? Slash, I'm trying to add some more like, because I, I was talking to my mom and she was saying how she loves listening to the podcast because she thinks she hears more about my life. And then on my YouTube videos, it's more of like what you do in a day. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I feel like if you watch my videos, you know what's happening in my life. But I guess I don't talk about as much like emotion, but I feel like I do. I don't know. Long story long, I would love if you guys comment down below what you like about my videos and what you want to see more of. Um, I love the I, I love trying out new videos. You guys typically like the vlogs, but it's it's a fun challenge for me, and I really enjoy seeing what video style you guys like better. Like I just posted that all voiceover video, which actually stemmed from the audio on my camera not working. So half of it didn't have audio. So I did a voiceover per a ton of y'all's recommendation and you guys really liked it. So then I did a video where it was all voiceover and I was actually really happy with how it turned out. So I'm just kind of curious where you guys are at with my videos, what you wanna see more of, what you like, why you watch my videos. So I know kind of to cater it that way. Thanks. <laughs> By the time this vlog is up, I believe I'll be in Mexico on a girl's trip with some of my friends. So go follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn to get the live action there. But right now I'm planning my outfits for it because that's what I do. And I am genius. I found this super portable clothing rack on Amazon. It was very inexpensive and it almost like folds up like a tripod. Like these, you can push them in, you push this all the way up. It's literally a tripod and it could fold. This is something I'd consider traveling with for certain trips or if like Brooke and I do a shoot. This would be so perfect because it really gets compact. Um, so, because like I'd love to have a clothing rack just out all the time. So, you know, I love seeing people's Instagram reels and TikToks for like planning my outfits for the week. Like I saw Kenzie Elizabeth does that. But I don't have enough room to always have a clothing rack out. So this is perfect. Or like I said, if I'm doing a shoot or if there's a day I'm planning outfits, it's just so nice. You can just see those outfits all together and I'm just obsessed. It's the little things in life. So if you're someone that likes to plan your outfits for a trip or for the week maybe for work, I mean, this is such a fun thing to do on a Sunday is plan your outfits. So I was just doing that for Mexico. And I also, it's really interesting to see besides this green dress, the color palette, I'm clearly in a neutral era these days, um, but like I have a couple tops, I have this dress, this brown set, this green dress, and then this metallic looking dress. We are staying there for three nights. I'm borrowing this bag from Forward right now. <laughs> A Mew Mew Beach bag. It's so beautiful. Um, so this is gonna have to come on the plane with me because I don't want to smush that in my suitcase But I think this is so fun And then when you're picking out your shoes and your accessories, you can really see everything You can also do the same thing and lay everything on your bed, which is what I normally do But for me, I see a lot of value in this and I'm so excited and I had to share with you guys because this is so fun Just did a good old restock of my supplements for the week and I'm watching Eli Rallo's TikToks. Like I'm just swiping through and watching them like their YouTube videos because I love her so much. I've listened to all the podcasts I can listen to. So now I'm going to put on, I was watching a, last Sunday, The Intern. I started it. One of my favorite movies ever with Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro. It's just adorable. We've got my robe on. I showered. Laundry is happening. And then I actually just went through and organized under my sink because it was crazy. 
I have this little like shelf riser, which is really nice. So I can have bins under here. So I have like masks, honestly lots of face masks. And I have, these are not really labeled properly, but you get the vibes. Like my hair products, self tan, body stuff, face stuff shampoos and conditioners so i was going through that because brooke the other day was like dude it is crazy under there because she was like going to find like a tampon and i was like oh i'm sorry about that we are having a wholesome cozy sunday night i'm going to get thai food with caitlin and then we're gonna go to the movies i have seen mean girls already and i've seen anyone but you already However, I need everyone in my life to see those movies. So we're gonna start with Anyone But You. Cause I like saw Mean Girls this past week. So I was like, let's go see Anyone But You. I loved that movie. It was with Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. I love the soundtrack in it. It's one of the best rom-coms I've like ever seen. And it's just not all the time that there's rom-coms at the movie theater anymore. And it's so fun and Caitlin really wanted to see it. And I like wanna see her, I wanna hear her opinion on the movie. So, and it's cold outside, so we, we're going long coat. I look really silly. I'm just wearing like a sweat set, no makeup, sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. Oh my God, I forgot how weird these like flaps are on the bottom, but it's just so you can like walk. Yay. I always forget there's a P.F. Chang's in New York. And why does that sound so good right now? Trying a new Thai restaurant tonight called Spice Thai because it's right near the movie theaters we're going to, so hopefully it's good. We both got the same things, that's what we always do. Yum. Caitlin's never been to a Regal movie theater before and she's like, this is so nice. We're getting some snacks, I'm gonna get popcorn. I've been hyping up this movie all night to Caitlin and I said, just kidding, it's actually really bad because I realized I'm hyping it up too much and I don't want high expectations. What, what are we eating? Yummy. Love chocolate. Love, love. I'm gonna get some popcorn and like a soda. Yeah. You should get the orange soda. It's amazing. <laughs> Slurpy. Slurpy. Fail number one of the night. I've been hyping up Regal movie theaters. <laughs> and you can't even, like I feel like a lot of the Regal movie theaters, you can recline and put your feet up. We can recline. No, we can recline. Um, they just don't have heaters like the other one. Oh was. yeah, when we saw Taylor Swift, there was That's heaters on the seats. Yeah. Movie theaters are becoming a whole thing, but the movie will outshine yeah, the lack. <laughs> also, got a medium soda, ginormous. It's so big. And then got a large popcorn. Don't know why. Ginormous. <laughs> but you know what? You yeah, don't. We just ate dinner. We so. just ate so much food. So. <laughs> rock on and there's like no movies or anything on the screen right now it's like weirdly quiet in here and there's like no one here but of course <laughs> of course <laughs> movie was just as amazing the second time i like you know you know notice those little things that maybe you didn't notice the first time you saw it um so good caitlin loved it thank god i like totally hyped it up but i know her so well and i knew that she would also like the movie and it was a full house in there. I think it's a lot of people have off work tomorrow and it's a long weekend, um, but that is the end of this weekend vlog. It was so random, kind of just all kinds of things, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much and I will see you guys next Wednesday for a new video, whatever day, Sundays and Wednesdays I post. Subscribe, bye guys. Mm -hmm.